What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Call of Duty Mobile. In today's video, we look at all the secret locations for all the mystery box in Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale. When you enter a zombie area, you will see a message on your screen. And when you approach a mystery box, it will say kill all the nearby zombies first. You cannot open the box, they are locked. So you have to go around and kill all the zombies on the map nearby. And when you're done, the mystery box will be unlocked. These mystery boxes contain great loot usually, a lot of epic and rare stuff. Very often you'll find level 3 vests there, some great attachments and stuff. So it's really worth looking for them early in the game because it's gonna give you an edge for a quick start or a great start in Battle Royale. Now before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Now let's get into it. The first one is northeast on the map, northeast of Sakura. It's a little farm there, not a busy spot honestly. And they're easy to spot because you see the blue light going from the box up in the sky. But if someone's been there before you, the light will no longer be there. So if you know where the box is, you can still go there and see if there's some leftovers. Once you're done killing all the zombies, you can access the mystery box. It's on the second floor on the balcony. And there's a shortcut here you can go on the broken stairs and get there straight instead of going inside. Now the next location is in the diner area. It's marked on the map. That one is pretty easy to find. And uh, it's right inside the building. You see the blue light again. That means you're the first one to get there and the chest is still locked. So you can land there and you'll have to fight zombies again. Now by the way guys, when you kill these zombies, they will drop rare items usually with the blue light on them. You can find some cool ammo, you can find first aid kits, some nice attachments. So once again, going to an infected area at the start of the game can give you a bit of an edge because you don't have to find the stuff, you can just kill the zombies. So the mystery box is right there on the counter inside the building. Uh, pretty obvious, Not you don't really have to look for it. And once again, you can find great loot. You see a level 3 vest, a lot of purple stuff. Now the next one is super spooky. It's the forest on the map, but when you get there, it looks like all the other locations, but when you actually get there, it turns dark all of a sudden. You see a camping site and a cemetery or something. There's a bunch of tombstones. And once again, uh, the mystery box is right there in the middle. And you will see... Like if you kill zombies and you're not done and you try to open the chest, it will say kill all the zombies. So if you forgot one somewhere, you'll have to go around and try to find the last zombie. Now the location number four is the bus station on the map. When you get near the bus station, you see again the blue light means you're first to get there. Uh, it looks like an old bus station. The, the sign is broken, the B is missing. And the, the mystery box is inside the building. Now once again, if you go there early in the game, guys, there's a pretty good chance you'll see some other players. Because I know uh, the more people that know about that, the more people will start landing there now at the start of the game. Because the easy loot. Killing the zombies will give you a bunch of rares. You don't have to look inside the buildings. And once again, you have to kill all the zombies before you can open the mystery box. So once you're done killing the zombies, get back inside, try to open it, and then a bunch of purple attachments, again from my shotgun, a level 3 vest, but the loot is random. It's not going to be the same items every time you get there. It's going to be randomized, but once again, pretty cool place to go at the start of Battle Royale, but be careful guys, because if you go there with no guns, uh, you might have trouble killing the zombies. Now that's not it guys, if you look on your map in Battle Royale, there's a red dot near the farm. It's another zombie location, but instead of having to fight a bunch of zombies or a zombie horde, you have a zombie boss, it's Cerberus, and uh, yeah, it's an angry zombie dog, and it's huge, and he's got tons of HP guys. And you see here on the footage, I was fighting the boss alone, so it is possible to kill the zombie boss alone. Uh, I was using a shotgun this time, so I have to try to fight from close range, but just keep moving in circles. He's gonna try to bite you and jump on you. So you need a bit of range, but also keep moving. And it's not that bad. 
As you can see here, he dropped uh, a legendary item or uh, some guys call it uh, exotic items, but a bunch of purple. So it's another way to get great loot in Battle Royale. Uh, he actually dropped two, two legendaries. So yeah, great loot, uh, epic attachments, level three vest. It's a good way to get good loot, but I suggest you guys go in the squad because solo, you're asking for trouble. So that was it for today's video, guys. All four infected areas, all four mystery boxes, and the secret zombie boss fight in Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like and leave me a comment below. Now, once again, please subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other stuff. Take care. Zombies incoming! Engaging zombies! Engaging zombies! Reloading! My flight will arrive in one minute. Down to the last five teams. <laughs> 